it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Thanks for stopping by and for visiting me again on my channel. Guys, I just received my uh, Pat McGrath order part of it. I did order most of the Divine Bronze collection. However, my order was is being shipped in three separate shipments. So I did receive the first piece of the order today. And while I was only expecting the lip products and blush, actually it seems to be there is a mistake on top of a mistake again. I did get the bronzers that they told me would not be shipped until the end of the week. However, all of the lip products are not included. So guys, today I am going to announce a giveaway of some products from this Pat McGrath Divine Bronze Collection. And I am going to review some of the lip products, bronzers and the blush. I will not have the eye palette for maybe another week or two weeks but as soon as I get it guys I will do a complete look with the entire collection so you guys can see what it looks like. I did get two bronzers. I got a duo. This is duo number five. Duo number five. This was for foundation shades 18 to 25. When buying the duos, it does tell you which one to get based on your foundation shade. I have foundation shade 19, so I went with number five. This duo, it is costing 65 uh, euros and the single ones are costing 37. So by buying the duo, I did save nine euros. I am going to start with Desert Glow because this is the only bronzer actually which does have any kind of shimmer. Desert Glow, it's described as tan bronze with sparkling golden shimmer. On the back of the packaging, it just simply says bronze without caution, glamorous glow, and regal radiance. These bronzers, they have 9.5 grams or 0.33 ounces. This is the color of Desert Glow. Actually, in the pan, it does look a bit, I would say, lighter than it did on the picture on the Pat McGrath website. It does not have as much of a yellow tone, but we will see when I swatch it on my hands. This is what Desert Glow looks like with a finger swatch. Actually, I do not like swatching my bronzers with my fingers. I will <laughs> get one of these uh, sponges, which works very well for uh, bronzer swatches. Bronzers do tend to hard pan a lot, so I am very careful when going into them with my fingers, which does have moisture. This is quite a wide swap, so it gives you an idea of the color diffused on the skin. And this is what it looks like. Actually, on the skin, I think the color looks deeper than it does in the pan. Being that this is a shimmer bronzer, I am going to apply it with my um, Bobbi Brown uh, bronzing brush because this does diffuse 
the bronzer quite nicely. This is what Desert Glow looks like on my complexion. I am looking at the mirror in front of me and also I am looking in the monitor. It does not glow very much. I do not, I see a bit of sparkle, but it is not a lot. This, it is a nice shade. It adds a nice amount of warmth to the skin. And now I am looking at this bronzer by turning the pan in and here and I can see now some of the sparkle, the gold sparkle in the bronzer. This is really pretty and on the skin, like I said, it has a warmer tone than it does have in the pan. I think the swatch on Pat McGrath's website is pretty accurate when I see this on my skin. And I do think if I were to build this up more, I would get more color intensity. So this is with Desert Glow and without. The next color in this uh, duo, it is called Bronze Divinity and it is described as a terracotta bronze. For this, I am going to use my uh, Sonia G bronzing brush. This is a swatch of Bronze Divinity on my hands. This one has a bit more of a red tone. On this hand, this is Desert Glow and this is Bronze Divinity. The two bronzes are just one shade apart from each other. First, I will go lightly into the pan. These bronzers, they are nicely pigmented. This is Bronze Divinity. I went very light uh, with this brush. Granted, uh, this Sonia G brush, it does pack a punch. It picks up a lot of product. The reason why I love this so much. But yeah, this is a very uh, light application. I am going to build this up a bit more. <laughs> if I know my bronzers, I think this is more in the direction of uh, my Gucci bronzer. Actually, I always have to be a bit careful with this Sonia G brush because it does, it's, it's very big, so it gets the bronzer sometimes a bit too low. Just for comparison, on here we have Desert Glow, and this is Bronze uh, Divinity. I have not built this up too much. Now I will go with the <laughs> final application. If I wanted a very bronze, bronze look. As you can see, this bronzer has more of a red terracotta tone and I am loving it. Guys, I have added a lot of product. Normally, I would not be so lavish with bronzer coming down here, but I want you guys to see what the real tone color of this bronzer is. It, this is an awesome shade for those of us who like quite a dose of terracotta red in our bronzers. For my skin tone, bronzers which are very warm toned, more with a dose of red, tend to uh, appear more flattering as opposed 
to cool bronzers. Bronze Divinity, it is a beautiful shade. It is very pigmented. It looks very flattering on the skin. On this side, I have Bronze Divinity and this is Desert Glow. Here are some color swatches of the bronzers that I am just loving at the moment. The first one, this is the Pat McGrath. This is Desert Glow. This is the Pat McGrath Bronze Divinity. Here we have uh, Gucci in number four. This is EMS Plain Air. This is Colorado. This one, it is from Dior. It is called Dior Skin Natural Nude Bronzer. And I have this in zero six. I love this bronzer very much in the summer. And the last shade, this is from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the airbrush bronzer and this I have in the shade three. <laughs> As you guys can see, Bronze Divinity it is, I would say, the reddest shade. I would say Desert Glow, it is closest to my Dior skin. This is the natural nude bronzer. Next, it is time for blush. This rose blush, which came with this bronze collection. This is Divine Rose 3. And this is the color of the blush. And this is Divine Rose 3. This is the color diffused on my hands. And this is the color in the pan. Guys, actually, by looking at a swatch of this blush on the Pat McGrath website, I was expecting this to have a little bit of shimmer in the pan. This is very powdery. I am actually wondering if I got the wrong product. Let me check. No, it is the correct blush. It says it is a coral rose demi matte. Now I am looking at this swatch again. I think it is the light, but it does look much darker in the swatch. So yeah, let me see how it reacts on my skin. I am going to use this uh, blush brush from Pat McGrath, which I love very much. This is an awesome blush brush and I am going to apply the blush on top of both bronzers. Actually, it's very pretty. I have a lot of blushes from Pat McGrath. I do not think I have a shade like this. So this is the blush on top of a bronze divinity. And now I will apply it to Desert Glow. Actually, I think I like the combination with Desert Glow a lot better. It is softer. This is more in the direction of how I like my blush. On top of Bronze Divinity, it appears a bit more reddish. Here I can still see more of a pink coral hue. Desert Glow with Divine Rose 3, Bronze Divinity with Divine Rose 3. Next up, this is the Bronze Collection Lip Gloss. This one, it is called Nude Venus. Actually, I have had this lip gloss on my lips the entire time I am speaking, but this is what the lip gloss looks like. It is just the typical Pat McGrath lip gloss. I did not get the lipstick. It is not here. 
I have three Pat McGrath lipsticks where I thought it could work to give me the same look as uh, the Pat McGrath models. So I have 1995, I have Omi and I have Sh She's Heaven. I think I will go ahead with She's Heaven. By the way, this is what the lipstick looks like. <laughs> the lip gloss. This is the way the lip gloss looks on its own. This is the lipstick She's Heaven on my lips. I mean, with this collection, Pat McGrath just had a very uh, light lip look. And this is the gloss. I don't think this is new. I think this debuted a while back. But this is what it looks like on top of She's Heaven. The whole time I was talking prior, I was wearing this gloss alone. So this is the look I came up with. I am so sorry they have not shipped the eye palette and the rest of the lip products. So this side, Bronze Divinity, this side, Desert Glow, and I am wearing the Bronze Venus blush on both sides. I have used the Divine Rose palette on my eyes. Guys, I would like to do another giveaway just to say thank you and to show you guys how much I do appreciate all of the support you guys have given me in the last year and a half. The giveaway will be for this brand new Divine Rose 3 blush, which is new in this Divine Bronze collection from Pat McGrath. My giveaways are not very complicated, guys. I will go ahead and give this away as soon as my channel reaches 900 subscribers. To win this blush, all you need to do is follow me on Instagram. Of course, you will need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Comment this video letting me know what you like most about my channel, please share one of my Instagram or my YouTube posts and like this video. This is it. I will announce the giveaway on this YouTube channel and also on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching and for all of your support. So many of you, we have become friends on this channel. I am talking to some of you guys almost every day uh, on direct email or on Instagram. And I do hope our friendships do continue to grow. Take care guys, have a lovely rest of day and hope to see you again soon on my channel. Auf Wiedersehen!